Give me a second, please. I hear an airplane. Oh, the joys of spring break and everything that it brings. It's, uh, it's everybody's favorite holiday. And I don't know about you guys, but I find myself very thankful. I'm thankful for a lot of things this spring break. I'm thankful that I have Premiere on my computer back at my house, back at college, because I, I've reawoken the horror that is iMovie. I'm thankful that I have a mouse on my computer back at college because using the Apple, you know, pad, it's not fun. I'm not having a good time editing with that. And I'm thankful that we overcame the Cuban Missile Crisis and we didn't get cooked like beef wagyu. Yes. I am, of course, talking about Fallout. More importantly, the show. About a week ago, it was announced by Amazon, Amazon Prime, that they were going to be making a Fallout TV series, which, you know, yay. And before you start screaming, I just want to get a couple things clear. Yes, I am filming, <laughs> I'm, I'm filming on my phone. I really didn't have a choice. I don't have my webcam. I don't have my mic. But, you know, filming on a phone, the, ca the camera quality is great. It's probably better than my webcam, so... Yay. I'm also filming on a music stand for some reason because I need to, you know, I need to get it up a little bit, even though it, this is not ideal. I'm not, I don't like it. And finally, the show itself. I know a lot of people are going to be screaming that this is going to be the worst show ever. You pack your bags. We're, we're going to the moon. We can't stay on this earth anymore. They're, they're, they're ruining everything they touch with these video game TV shows. I know, but for the first time, in my cold, destitute life, I feel this little flame inside my heart. Because this is one of the first shows that I've watched the trailer and started to feel good. I feel good about it. And that's for one very main reason that I'm going to get into. But first, let's just talk about the very basic things with the trailer. The graphics in the film, it looks very, very good. They didn't pull any expense when it comes to the budget of this show, which is good because it's Fallout. It deals with, you know, world exploration and post-apocalyptic stuff. You're gonna need a couple doubloons to make that become a reality. And both the show and, and, you know, of course, real life, you know, nuclear material, it's not cheap. You have no idea how much money it costs. The CGI and the costumes also looks really good. It looks really, really, you know, accurate to the video game and, you know, the graphics that's, that's put there. They didn't really change the visuals of it at all, which is good because it's very, it's very close to the actual representation in the actual, you know, video game, which, you know, great. It'd be very strange if they tried to alter the design of, like, you know, the iron armor, the, you know, the vault suits. They, they could have made it rain tarp and they didn't so another good thing but the most important thing about this show and the thing that gets me really really excited is the show story itself because they did something that no other tv show or movie did when it comes to adapting a video game into a visual show or movie they decided to do something new and they did a good change whoa and what they decided to do is make their own different story on purpose. Hear me out. I know you're about to freak out, and I know you're... you're... Ah, they're changing my video game. <laughs> but it's actually a, for a good reason. And that's when it comes to the game itself. Because the, the game that Fallout is, it really isn't your straightforward story. It's not like Halo or any other video game of that type or caliber because they have, you know, a set story that you follow. The beauty with Fallout and really any Bethesda game is that a lot of it is choose your own adventure. And yes, there is a main story plot that, you know, you can follow, but really you don't necessarily have to follow it. You could just keep going off on these, you know, the thousands of side quests that there are and just make your own story. That's the beautiful thing about Bethesda games. And it seems like they're going to be doing kind of their own similar approach when it comes to the TV show. I think the most important thing when it comes to Fallout and that kind of universe is making sure- I'm doing hand movements and you can't even see. The most important part when it comes to Bethesda and that kind of stuff is making sure that at least the world is the same. I hate this. So when it comes to Fallout and that kind of thing, the most important thing when making that show good is world building. I think that's the most important aspect in making sure that the, that the lore of Fallout is the same. 
from there you can really go off in any direction as long as it doesn't break you know the history that they laid out and i know some people might be screaming it's like oh but what about the what about the main story i, I love the main story and yeah it might be a bummer for some people that there's not going to be that you know that they're not going to be following one of the main stories that are in the fallout games but i say count yourself lucky that they're not going to expose this thing to the crucible all right because there is i guarantee you if they tried to do the main story 99 percent sure that they would butcher it like lamb because we have seen it time and time again when it comes to adapting video games into tv shows we saw it with the witcher which you know is it's all counted as a video game butchered absolutely demolished lest we forget halo which is the most recent the most recent abomination when it comes to video games becoming shows don't even want to talk about it it's it's gross it is disgusting what they did but i feel like amazon is doing the right thing i think that when it comes to adapting video games into tv shows i feel like the best one they could have ever gone with are bethesda games because it makes sense if they did their own different story and out of all of the bethesda games i feel like fallout is the best one i think it would be difficult if they did like skyrim because there is a very set storyline with you know the dragon you've got you've got to kill alduin and you know ah it makes more sense with fallout and w when i saw what they decided to do i'll just say this when I saw you, my small, shriveled, little black heart grew three sizes that day. And if you ruin this, I will break you. Like a twig. It is just a trailer, and it is just the first trailer, so there is a fairly high possibility that they go into an entirely different, you know, route in such a way that it ruins the story. Who knows? We've only seen the first trailer. There is plenty of room for Amazon to screw this up. But I would like to say that it's starting off, in, at least in my opinion, a very, very nice place. A nice, nice place. Mm. I'm sure a lot more stuff will come out as these next couple months go by. They did put a release date. I don't exactly know when it is, but I think in these next couple months, stuff will start to become more apparent and be revealed to the public and then we'll see kind of which route they decide to go we already kind of have a really good idea from just the first sneak peek trailer which i thought was really cool it's, it's preparing us for what we're about to see and I, I honestly do think that this is the best route that they could have ever possibly gone down i feel like if they tried to do something from the main story they would have most most definitely screwed it up i feel like if they tried to alter the world in any way again they might they might have screwed it up and they might have changed some stuff with the history i don't know i don't think they would though i wouldn't i can't think of a a reason that they would you know change the, the world building but you know these these are tv show writers they, they'll find a way and they'll i'm sure they'll give some wacky excuse as to why you know what it wasn't nukes that ruined Fallout, it was aliens. That's a good story. It's our story. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Please don't want that to happen. Just a little bit of a turn. With a little bit of a dramatic creak. But for the first time in a long time, I feel very, very optimistic for what this show could become. I think there is a lot of stuff that's laid out there that has the potential to be a really, really good show. They just don't have to screw it up. If they screw this up, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll cry. I might make Fallout a reality. I <laughs> but who knows? I, I might not do that. Might not. So come on, Amazon. I'm, I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you to save the world from me. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If indeed you still are, my name is Broxter, and I bid you all adieu. And that crack was my shoulder. That's crazy.